Hey there YouTube, this is Catfish Catcher Cody coming out with you again today. Coming at you with something new this time. Me and uh, the butcher over here, we're going to show you how to prepare some turtle meat. Now, we've already had it in the crock pot and we're going to make some turtle cakes today. Butcher, you want to uh, buy us off here? Okay folks, uh, <clears throat> well the first thing I did is after uh, we caught our turtle, we froze it in one gallon bags filled with water for approximately six months. That's pretty much what we did. I'd say so. And um, after that, you put it in a big crock pot with some uh, different, whatever kind of seasonings you like, uh, maybe two cups of uh, beef broth or chicken broth, whatever. Cook it off the bone about seven, eight hours. And uh, this is what it come, come up with. It looks a lot like, it looks a lot like pork, actually. It's very tender and real, oh, real, meat. real nice. Full of protein. Uh, no problems with that. Safe to eat too. Unlike real, a lot of fish nowadays. Real safe to eat. So what we're gonna do is you put this out. You're gonna want to put a, a chop on it, Cody. Catfish, you do a little chop in there if you want. Just chop it up real nice. Here, get, get where they can see on the camera. Just chop that up real nice there. Sorry if you get a little bit messy. Oh, no, this is a basic recipe. You make it however you like it. We're just giving you the basics and then you can you can take it from there. What we're gonna make is uh, turtle cakes on this. Someone never but this would make a real house. nice porchetta too. Actually, think we're ready. A little bit more. Yeah, you can take that and put it in this half of the bowl. Get a nice, nice chop on that. Put it on that half of the bowl. We're just giving, we're just giving the basics. Give the other half a chop. We used uh, some old base seasoning, some porchetta seasoning. Like I said, whatever you like is what you make. You don't have to be very thorough with the chopping. Just it's as simple get it nice as and mashed. Simple as it gets. Real quick, real easy. Real quick recipe here. Earlier in the series, you probably watched a video on how me and the butcher were catching these snapping turtles. And honestly, <clears throat> this is the best part. Out there catching the turtles and bringing them back in. Yeah, that's fun. But the best part is coming back home after a nice long days of work and eating some of this turtle meat. It is absolutely phenomenal. Look how nice that is. Lean as could be. Oh, yeah. Way better than a, than a grocery store, let me tell you that. Mm-hmm. All right, so Cody, grab that, grab this, and show them what that is. All right, this right here is some crab cake mix. We're, we're gonna end up uh, doing with this. It's gonna look something like this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add this and some breadcrumbs together, and it's gonna end up being like a crab cake. It's gonna have the consistency of a crab cake, and in my personal opinion, it's gonna taste better than a crab cake. Cut that open. Add that to there. We'll try to get this going as quick as possible here. One whole bag, right? One whole bag. One whole bag of Zatarain's crab mix. Get us about a half a cup of water. About a half a cup of water in there. Soak up some of them breadcrumbs. Adding into it. 
um, Hellman's mayonnaise. This is the good stuff, people. Seriously, get this. We need a little more of that, Cody. Grab a, a more. Grab a tablespoon and get us some of that on there. Where's your your utensil there, boss? This is my first time working with the butcher on a cooking video, and I really hope you people like it. Believe me when I say we're going to have a lot more cooking videos than this. This is the tip of the iceberg to what's to come. A little more, Cody. All right, boss. We, we want to make it moist. Grab one more in there. And let's see what that does. Usually we'd use our hands on this instead of a wooden spoon, but we're... We're trying to make this as clean as possible, although we both washed our hands. Mm -hmm. We want to keep everything clean. And I think we're going to need more of that, Cody. Oh. Not quite enough. One more. Alright. Now we're going to have to make these with our hands. Alright. Let's keep that mayonnaise handy in case we Just in need. case. I get the boss. Just in case. And we're done with that. Alright. Basically, we let this set in the refrigerator for probably about 30 minutes to soak up those breadcrumbs, but since we're videotaping this, we're just going to make them and then we'll let them set after we make our cakes up. It's going to be similar to a crab cake. We'll show you here. Any other tips or uh, advice that you would give the people uh, at home? Lot, lots of advice. Here's the advice. Keep everything clean and cook the turtle meat real, right through until it falls off the bone. Keep it frozen in a bag of water for approximately six months and this is totally safe to eat, real good to eat and take a look at that right there. And you do that up on a, in a skillet with uh, olive oil, brown it on both sides, and mm -hmm. that's a recipe right there. But use whatever you like. We used uh, Old Bay seasoning Old Bay. Uh, and Zatarain's crab cake mix. And that's it right there. It's kind of like a crab cake only with turtle. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that'd be it. Now all we have to do now is just Make start making more. Throw it in, put it in a freezer bag and you have them for the next couple of months. Just when you want one, take it out and throw it in a skillet full of oil. Exactly. That's it, right there. Anything else you'd like to tell the people, Butcher? Just keep it clean. Keep it clean, I like That's that. It. Thank you very much YouTube and for anyone out there watching my videos. Um, come back with us another time, see more of their videos. Tell your friends, comment, like, subscribe, and hit me up sometime. Thank you very much. Have Okay folks, uh, you just saw us make up the patties and now we put some olive oil in a skillet and we're going to try a little sample here. Uh, you can zoom in here and see how we cook this up. Nice and brown on each side. And there's your turtle cake right there. And uh, fried up in a skillet. Look how nice that looks. Real nice Cody. That is unbelievable. That's it right there. That's it, folks. Thank you very much, and come back and enjoy the rest of our videos. And we'll bring you some more cooking videos in the next, next year.